Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Ali Shanma here and welcome to, I believe, the fourth vlog of DIY electric surfboard build. Today in this video, or today's tasks, are very simple. Number one, I will share my results of two different experiments that I did on the bottom part of this foamy surfboard. And I will show you what went wrong and what went right. After that, I have to cut the space for the battery box and then do the epoxy fiberglassing on the top part and obviously mend the part which went wrong. Okay, so let's get to work. In the background, you're also watching uh, my stitch and glue plywood surfboard, which is also a second project which going on at the same time side by side because when I do fiberglassing on these, they need time, days to dry, and I don't like to sit idle. I could just work on a different project. Now, first of all, let me show you two experiments and which went right, which went wrong. This side, obviously, is epoxy, fiberglass, really nice, good finish, and very hard. In, uh, I believe it has been sitting for 48 hours now. So I have to just uh, sand a little bit here and, you know, match the corners right here for the other side to come down. Now this side, there was epoxy on the base, on down on the foam, and on top I put wood glue, which has dried. Did a very good job, but you can see here it is soft. The corner didn't bend right, it's soft. And the epoxy part is hard, but the wood glue part is not that hard. So this part I have to just do one little coat of epoxy, very thin coat of epoxy once again, because I don't want to take it off and you know destroy everything. So just one coat of epoxy will fi fix it. To that we can get to the front side, which is going to be easy because all I need to do is add a small box here. Let me show you what box I'm going to go with. I bought these two waterproof boxes that fit 6S and 4S 5000 milliamp batteries really nicely. This one is pretty thin, it's profile and small. And I believe, look at that, my measurements were right for these stingers. This is gonna fit really nice and good right here. And I can put the batteries in, receiver and everything in, and run the cables from under or from behind, from motor and ESC, and everything should work properly. Starting from the top part, I confirmed the measurements for the box, then using my router, I cut the first profile, which was easy, and after that I had to cut deeper, I did not have any bit for that, so I used the carpet knife, and my favorite circular drill bit, which actually did the job very well. Check this out, the box actually fits really nice perfect finish right there next thing I had to sand the corners and get it ready for the fiberglassing on the top part so I can match the corners so I went with my circular sander also sanded the bottom part where I actually needed fixing fiberglassing the top part was easier because I used the softer and fine weave cloth I poured the epoxy that does not eat the foam. I spread the epoxy evenly and then laid the cloth on top of it. It was easy and cloth actually set very nicely and also epoxy was absorbed easily into the cloth. Bending the corners and sticking them on epoxy was easy with this cloth. There was only one problem though. Check this out. Well, look at this. It is really Good. I mean, for my first try, it's not bad. Still, I see there are some in imperfections, especially down here, because I made a very complex shape. So, you know, the uh, fiberglass did not bend right. But, hey, because I just need this to have my battery box go in and out whenever I need to use the board, battery box will go in and when I'm not using the board battery box will come out and obviously on top of this you know there will be a non-slip mat to cover everything so this imperfection nobody can see it. To fix the wood glue failed experiment I went with poly putty also called the car body filler I applied it completely on the bottom part because it 
actually uh, makes everything very, very smooth and it's easier to send as well. My plan and it actually worked out very well and also fixed my mistake right here. Hey, check this out. The poly putty has done wonders right here. I just need this bottom part nice and smooth. So poly putty has done this job. Now next day I just have to wet uh, sandpaper and just give it a wet sanding and it will be very very smooth on the bottom part. Next day I wet sanded the whole bottom part where I applied the poly putty or car body filler and it actually gave me a very fine smooth finish on the bottom. So this was a successful experiment and it saved me from doing another coat of epoxy. It fixed my mistakes as well on the failure parts of experiments. Next thing, I 3D printed the uh, surfboard bottom fins and installing them was simply easy. I had to just drill, uh, use my router drill bit and make a space for them, fill it for the epoxy. And also I applied the epoxy all the way on the fins because it's one of the way you can make 3D prints stronger. Thank you very much for watching this episode of my DIY electric surfboard build. Please give this video a big like and stay subscribed to my channel. Turn on all the notifications for next upcoming video updates. I believe my kitty already likes this surfboard.